Alright, I'm doing this again because I actually messed up. It was uh, jamming the shaft, so it was making a vibrating noise. Uh, just do that. Right. What happened is, because I've got it in here, it's just a, a, a friction copper. That was causing the shaft to jam, and I thought it was in that gearbox. It isn't. It's that. Okay. Now I've put some oil in it. It's all working fine. Yeah, no stupid noises. Which is okay. Yes, because that makes sense, because I would have thought if the gearbox jammed, then it would probably tear things apart a bit. So it was just in that bit. Right in, anyway, so this is how it's going to work. There's the one that's the output for the generator. It's going four times faster than the flywheel. This is the real flywheel. It's just on the wrong way around. That's the actual bit that will be uh, uh, passing to the engine. The only reason why I put it that way around is so that I could fit the jaws of my uh, chuck, my lathe chuck into it, so I could spin it. And you can see it's reasonably well balanced. We've got a bit of wobble there, and a bit of wobble there, and it's linear. What it is, is it's slightly offset. The mount is slightly offset. So that's why that's causing that. And then this shaft, which is obviously lovely. <laughs> yeah, and the gearbox is just bouncing around a bit. But that ring gear is going to get locked against something solid, so there's been no movement there, and the actual gear itself that's going into the generator is moving about a little tiny bit. Okay, we're talking about a millimetre, just a minus a millimetre, so it might press against the bearings a bit, but I think it's more likely uh, that it'll, it's just because this uh, the ring gear is loose, and once I lock the ring gear in place, then that will start coming down as well. Probably down to about half a millimetre. I don't know what the clearances are. <coughs> but anyway, that's working fine now. See? I don't know what the RPM is, but I'm saying looking at that flywheel, that's probably going about the same speed as on a high idle. Yeah, about two, three thousand RPM maybe, I don't know. Possibly. Yeah, I don't know. If we say two thousand RPM, I think we won't be too far off the figure. I can work it out because the the lathe is quite accurate with its speed, and so I can work out what the speeds actually are. But that's working fine, isn't it? No problem at all. Obviously, ring gear is bouncing around a little bit, and so is the planetary system. But that's nothing to worry about. That's just a little bit of wobble, and I'm not concerned about that. Because as soon as I start clamping the uh, ring gear into place, then that should stop that from work doing what it's doing. In fact, if I go and get a... Let me just get a glove. Here we go. <coughs> right. And then if I actually hold down on that, you can see now the wobble has gone down considerably because I'm holding it. And uh, I don't know if you can see the ring gear. Let me just do it again, but this time I'll do it where you can see the ring gear. Uh, the sun wheel. And you can see now, if I keep it still, you can see the sun wheel still moving. But it, it cuts it down, maybe, I don't know, it's still around a millimetre. But we are holding the end, you see, and when it's actually going to be running in the real one, <coughs> when it's going to be running in the real one, the shaft is actually not held, so that's free to move, you see. And it's not actually going to just do an oil seal against it or something like 